It's the Yobai series. If you go to a restaurant and you decide to eat whatever you want on the menu, it's not as if your microbiome is suddenly just going to drop dead, as if it's been attacked by some sort of angry bear. Angry bear. Strange analogy. What I mean is you're not going to be struck down by lightning just because you decided to eat a carbohydrate rich meal. The decision to eat less processed food is a lifestyle choice and something that you are going to prescribe to for the rest of your life for your overall health and well-being. Not only is it important to eat better to be able to support your microbiome, not only is it important to eat to support your microbiome with better food sources and quality foods, but it is also incredibly important to eat better to help prevent metabolic diseases such as diabetes and inflammatory diseases from forming. Question, do I have to go on a detox or a basic fasting stage to help kickstart my gut microbiome? No. You don't need to go on a fasting three day bender or even a one week fasting bender or even a one month fasting bender as you may well die. Kidding. But you will need to start somewhere and here is where that start is. If you can be honest with yourself for just a moment and think about the food that you currently eat, what you need to understand is, is that the microbiome that you currently have active inside your gut isn't necessarily going to be able to process new foods such as high fermented food or food that is high in fiber. What does that actually mean? Well, what it means is, is that inside your gut at the moment, there are bacteria that may not necessarily actually survive or thrive in your gut that is ready to be able to do the job of digesting foods that are high in fermented foods and foods that are also fibrous. High fermented foods and fibrous foods are going to be the types of foods that are going to help promote a healthy gut bacteria. However, if you have a poor or relatively poor diet, that actual gut bacteria isn't going to be there to be able to break down food that you need to be able to digest. So my advice would be is to take things slow. So if you think for a minute, if you haven't been eating enough fibrous foods, then your gut bacteria won't be ready for an Armageddon meal of salad or stir fry just yet. It takes time for your gut bacteria to develop the ability to use fibrous foods to your advantage. So in actuality, you should start to slowly increase your level of fibrous foods and nutrient dense meals so that your gut bacteria can absorb and use it to benefit you. So when trying to drastically change your gut biome for the better, please just take your time and consider foods that will help your gut bacteria, but give yourself between four to six months before you can expect to see some decent results. So basically, if you have chosen to live off white or even beige foods, it's gonna take some time for your gut bacteria to be able to develop the right type of new bacteria that it takes to be able to digest fibrous and also fermented foods. So take your time. Now, other than fibrous foods, your gut bacteria thrive really well when it comes to eating fermented foods. And these fermented foods can be natural Greek yogurt, kefir, butter, cheese. Like I said, you don't need to jump on the bandwagon and start devouring these foods as fast as possible. I mean, if you drank all that kefir, you'd make yourself sick. But if you do choose to start to introduce these foods, if you haven't done already, these foods eventually are going to train your gut bacteria to be strong, healthy, and overall repay you in having a much healthier equilibrium and sense of well-being. Not only that, but promoting a stronger gut microbiome is also going to lead to a much stronger immune system. So get your gut back into shape and start building up resilient immune systems. Strong immunity will help support you throughout your life. Also fighting against those nasty pathogens along the way. You don't want any pathogens, they'll probably kill you. 
So guys, as always, I hope you liked this video. Please press the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to know more about your gut biome or any topic that's related to your health, then please make a comment below. Be gut healthy, be strong, and of course, be a boss bear. It's the Yobashi Wish.